In this video, we will continue diving into Multi Case Circuit Breaker (MCCB). Today, we will understand important terminologies, and in the next video, we will be able to read a complete MCCB nameplate. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Let's start with ICS and ICU. Operating short circuit breaking capacity ICS is the highest fault current or short circuit current that the MCCB can handle by trapping without being damaged. So the multi case circuit breaker will remain usable after interrupting such faults. Ultimate short circuit breaking capacity ICU is the maximum possible fault current that the multi case circuit breaker can clear or contain but only for one time. So after clearing such faults, we will most likely need to replace the multi case circuit breaker. However, the multi case circuit breaker will not rupture and not affect the switch board. Any fault current above ICU will cause a huge problem because the MCCB will be unable to trap or contain such fault. So we have to be extra careful during calculating and designing the short circuit analysis in the circuit. So for example, assume that we have fault of current equal to 30 kilo amperes and our MCCB ICS equal to 36 kilo ampere and ICU equal to 50 kilo amperes. Now at normal condition, nothing will happen. Assume that a huge fault happened that causes the circuit to draw a fault current equal to 30 kilo amperes, which is below the ICS. So the breaker will trip the fault instantaneously without any damage. And we will use this MCCB in the future without any replacements. But if the fault is equal to 45 kilo amperes, for example, now this fault current is above ICS and below ICU. So the breaker will handle this situation and will be trapped without any rupture, but we have to replace this breaker. Now, if the fault is equal to 7 kilo amperes, which is above ICU, now the breaker will not be able to handle this fault current. That will cause rupture to the breaker and the complete circuit, and could cause a fire also. So be extra careful. In any MCCB nameplate, you will find the value of ICU in kilo amperes at every operating voltage and the value of ICS will be a percentage of ICU, it could be 60%, 80% or 100%. Another important terminology is the rated operational voltage UE and rated insulation voltage UI and impulse withstand voltage UIMP. The rated operational voltage is the normal voltage that the breaker will handle during normal operation. But the rated insulation voltage UI is the maximum voltage that the breaker can handle during normal operation. So the operational voltage shall not exceed this value. This value of voltage to which dielectric tests and creepage distances are referred. The rated impulse withstand voltage UIMP is the peak value of voltage that the breaker can withstand without failure for a small amount of time. In the next video, we will learn how to read a complete nameplate of multi case circuit breaker. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.